Hi everyone, I'm Holly from Hand Printed and today I'm going to show you how to make an easy card cut collar graph print. This is another intaglio method. I've shown you guys some other intaglio methods in previous videos so you can go back and have a look. So because this is an intaglio method we're going to be printing onto dampened paper. Our plate and paper are going to go through an etching press and that paper is going to pick up any ink that's on the plate. Now if you have seen the dry point videos that we have made um, you'll know that those are created by drawing a line into the plate which then holds onto the ink but this is going to be a little bit different because I'm going to create a tonal block instead of one with nine and I'm going to do that in a way that's really really easy and quick and simple. I'm just going to be using a piece of mount board here and some tape. I'm going to create three different tones, a dark, a light and a mid-tone and I'm just going to do them in, in colour blocks, something really, really simple to show you. Now, because in Taglio printing, we are going to be put, working our ink into the plate and then wiping off the excess, we need to think about how easy the plate is to clean. And that will show us where it's going to hold on to the ink. I'm going to be using plastic parcel tape on my block to create areas that are going to be really easy to clean. So the ink's going to come off those areas and that area is going to print with hardly any ink at all, if anything. The mount board itself hasn't been sealed, I haven't shellacked it or anything like that, it's just plain mount board. So it's going to hold some ink, it's not going to be very easy to clean, therefore it's probably going to be a mid-tone. Similar to the environment video that we did a little while ago, I'm going to carve into the surface with a scalpel, peel off the top um, area of the mount board, revealing the fluffy inside, that fluffy inside is going to be very hard to clean, which means it's going to cling on to more ink and print in my dark tone. You'll see more what I'm talking about when I make my block. So I'm going to keep my block really nice and simple. I don't need a lot. Just got a piece of mount board here that I've cut to a uh, pleasing size. Got a scalpel and some plastic parcel tape. We have this on the website, but all sorts of plastic tapes will work. Something nice and sturdy and, and very shiny is what we want here. So I'm just going to work in blocks of tone here and I'm going to start by just doing an area of my block in tape. It's really useful to work on a cutting mat here because you can stick the tape down, cut it into shape and then apply it to your block. So these areas are going to be my very light tone. I'll probably be able to clean those to almost white here. It's, it's confusing to look at at first because these areas that are paler on the block are going to print darker than these areas that are darker on the block. So you kind of have to think a little bit backwards here. So for any really dark areas, I want to score in the design with my scalpel and then peel it off. But those areas are going to hold on to lots of ink. So use the corner of the scalpel to lift it up and then carefully peel it away. And can you see how this area is really fluffy? That's going to be really difficult to clean, which means it's going to hold on to ink, which means it's going to print dark. I've got three bands of tape for pale tone. I've got two bands of peeled away surface for dark tone and then I've just got the gaps in between for mid tone. So let's ink this up and see how it prints. Unlike a traditional collar graph plate that needs to dry before inking, it might be uh, shellacked, it's probably got elements that are glued on, you need to wait for them to dry before you're inking them up. This is just mount board and tape, so I can use it straight away. And that's one of the really nice things about this technique, it's so quick to print, you can have an idea and realise that idea straight away, which I absolutely love. I'm going to ink it up using a Kua ink. I think this is Thalo Blue. So I'm going to ink this up using an old soft um, children's toothbrush. I don't want to apply too much ink to the block because I'm going to have to remove a lot of it later. When you're inking up, mind your edges. These kind of blocks are pretty fragile. They're not going to be as sturdy as the traditional collar graph block that has been um, shellacked so it's not going to create as many final prints with that before breaking down and it also needs a little bit of um, delicacy when inking up because these pieces are likely to peel up at the edges if you treat them too roughly or after a few too many prints. Now I'm going to use a piece of scrim wadded up 
and going to work in a twisting motion that is going to take off excess ink where I don't want it. You can see how sticky and wet it is, I don't want it that wet. It's also going to help to work the ink into the plate. We don't want a sticky plate when printing. So you can really see the plate now. You can see how much ink has already come off these areas of tape because they're so shiny and easy to clean. The ink just slides right off them, especially the Akua, which is um, a soya-based ink and it's really soft and wipeable. You can see how the ink is really clinging to these areas here because they're so fluffy, so difficult to clean. And then we've got sort of mid-tone here. So you can start to see the look of the block, um, although this brown tone for the tape is, is deceiving us. That's actually going to be white, well, whitish when we print it. So next I'm going to go in with some cloth and just do a little bit of extra cleaning on the areas where I don't want um, any ink. So you can see that I've got fingerprints and all kinds of muck on there. Any little fingerprints are going to show up. Make sure you clean the edges of your plate because often blobs of ink can hide there and then they make your plate marks on your print quite messy. And that can be frustrating when the rest of the print is just as you want it. Okay, so when you're at this stage, you wanna make sure you're holding your plate only by the edges or underneath, because I really don't want any fingerprints on here now. My paper has been soaking in a tray of water. I'm using Snowden cartridge paper, which is a really nice general purpose printmaking paper, but it's great for intaglio work because it's a little bit thicker, it can handle a decent soaking, and you get lovely little plate marks at the edge. So I'm now here with our Abig etching press. You can do some intaglio work without a press, and we've written a blog about it. If you head over to our website and go on the blog, you'll be able to find a blog post about printing intaglio without a press, so you can still have a go, even if you've got one of these at home or in your studio. So I'm going to start off by lying down my registration sheet, and that is just a piece of paper where I've marked out where my paper's going to go and where my block is going to go, just so that everything is reasonably straight and in the middle. That goes down first. Next, my block goes face up on that registration sheet. And next, my paper, which has been soaked and then blotted between two sheets of blotting paper. It's damp, but it's not dripping wet and it's not shiny wet. Next, my blankets. And roll it through the press. And here's my finished print. You can see my lovely plate marks. You can see those on the back, yep, as well. These are the areas where my parcel tape was. So they've cleaned up really nicely. And we've gone back to almost the paper color. You can see a little bit of ink, but it's mostly the paper color. This is my mid tone, this mid blue. And this is my dark tone, those fluffy areas of peeled away mount board where the ink is really clinging to it. You can see I've got some lovely dark tone there. So there is three tones. If I wanted to, I could not clean up these white areas as much, and so I would have some pale blue on those areas. It's really quick. The, I, I love the results. I could probably print 10, 15, maybe 20 from this block. The thinner areas of tape that you've got, the more fragile it's going to be, and then it'll take less prints because it can't handle the inking. All my areas go from one side to the other, so I haven't got lots of um, pointy tape edges. If you've got, if I had a triangle for example of tape, the corner would start to lift first. So those are the areas that are going to be more fragile, so those blocks will give you less prints. So have a go at this technique. We'd love to see what you create. Head over to our blog for loads more projects. We've got all these videos on IGTV, YouTube and on the website, so you can go back and see them all if you're looking for inspiration or advice. Happy printing!